What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to Cube. Now this game popped up today on itch.io, and this is a actual uh, school project that the developer did for school. Now, what his constraints were, where he more or less had to make a game in a certain amount of time with a certain kind of like style, I guess you could say, and it was all about cubes. Now, he decided to go ahead and make, okay, well why not think of like an old ancient civilization or like a temple, kind of like Indiana Jones style, my cord is driving me nuts, in the sense where you are going to be exploring uh, this like ancient temple in order to get to this cube which you guys can see in the background right now now the developer did say that he did everything for this game but the music. So the music you guys are hearing right now is uh, from a another thing. Hopefully it won't get taken down when I actually play it because it sounds really cool. Hopefully the video won't get taken down for the music. If so, I'll have to upload it with different music. Otherwise than that, it sounds really awesome uh, right now. Anyway, this game looks cool. I don't know exactly how long it is. It's a puzzle style, exploratory style game, but I don't know how much you can actually explore. The developer did say he was kind of constrained for time because it was a school project, so he couldn't do like every single single thing he wanted to do for the game, but he still likes the game, what it has to offer. I want to check it out. The screenshots that I saw of it looked pretty cool. Now, the puzzles for this game are supposed to be, there's three different rooms that you can go into, and apparently there's a puzzle in each room. I don't know exactly how difficult they are, but the developer didn't say that they were too, too difficult, so let's jump into it and see what it has to offer. Okay, enter the temple. WAC to move, look around with the mouse. Okay, so the audio sound design and everything is really good, but he did all the models, the textures, everything you see on the screen right now. He did all of this stuff. Okay. Oh. Find the exit. Okay, I literally just walked in the front door. I wasn't expecting that. Aim the cursor on the cube of light and press E to carry it. Okay. Well, this cube is pretty goddamn awesome looking. I love the fact that it's like glowing. Can I- Oh, it kind of goes through a wall. That's probably not supposed to happen. Okay, cool. So I have this cube. Now I have to find the exit. Great. I love mazes. Awesome. Is this going to tell me where I'm at? Press E to drop the cube. You can pick it up again if you need to. Okay, find- a activate the two levers. Okay, so I'm guessing that's where I'm at now. So I need to go left and then go all the way down there. So I'm going to actually do that one first. So I can go this way. Now this game did say- it didn't actually say that there was anything- that's actually pretty cool right there. Eh. And now it's like glowing. Oh, that's pretty cool looking, not gonna lie. I really wish the hint would go away. But, uh, this game developer did say that there wasn't anything... I don't think there's actually any monsters or anything like that that's gonna be chasing me. There's no mummies or anything like that. Activate the leather by aiming at it and pressing... Okay, I can do that. Uh... This? Does, does that mean it's working? It's spinning now. Oh yeah, okay, so now that it's spinning, okay. Yes, I get it. I, I, I wish the hint would go away. It's kind of annoying that it's still sitting there on my screen, but whatever. So the game does look really cool. The music is good now that, like I said, the developer did say that he didn't do the music himself. He actually pulled it uh, from the internet, which a lot of game developers do, so I'm not hating him for it. Uh, where was that map? Where was that? Aw, oh, crap. I'm already lost again. Great. Where was the map? Fuck. Awesome. Now I gotta wander around. Ah. Uh, I love how I'm running faster than the cube. Ah, there's the map. Okay. So, now I literally need to go... Oh, wow. I have to go all the way. So, I gotta go right all the way down and then basically just keep going south so I can do this. I'm actually pretty good at reading maps. I don't know why. Like, I'm terrible when it comes to actually, like, telling people how to get somewhere. Because I don't know street names. Like, if anybody's ever good at... I don't know why this is relevant for what I'm talking about. But... If anybody's ever, like, given anybody directions, like, generally, I can tell you where to go, but I have no idea what the street names or anything like that are. Ah, there's the other one. Okay, cool. Ah, there we go. Alright, drop that. Drop, drop it. There we go. Click that button. Click, click the button. Click, click the button. Click the, click the button. Click the button. It's not spinning. Ah, there we go. Alright, cool. Now that it's spinning, hopefully it's spinning means that that's what it needs to do. Then again, when I walked up to it, it was, uh, it wasn't spinning, so I'm assuming that's the right way to do it. I have no idea. I'm rambling a little bit, but this is the first puzzle, I'm assuming, for the game. Unless, like, walking into the temple was the first puzzle, which that would be not good. Okay, so, I figured that out, so now I can go... Oh, so the two levers were to open up the doors to get out. Alright, well that's simple enough. So if I go right, and then left, and then right, yeah, I can make it. I'll, I'll be fine. It's actually not too, too difficult of a puzzle to get through or anything like that. And I'm assuming the lights are going to lead me out. Q. 
Okay, I think it was over here? No, that's a dead end. Is it over here? There's the door. I'm assuming that's the door. And that's the only, you know, cool looking door here. Ah, there we go. Alright, so let's see here. Press space to jump, okay? Up, oh, up, oh, there we go. Well, I'm taking this fucking cube with me. Fuck you, bitch. The cube is glowing. Oh, I lost the cube. No fair. Well, that's pretty cool looking. Activate the pillar in the right order. Okay, aim at the red cubes and click to activate. How do I know which is the correct one? Wow, why am I suddenly zoomed in all of a sudden? This is... I feel like I'm zoomed in super far. So, did that do anything? Nope, I'm assuming not. Okay. Okay. So, that wasn't too bad. So, it was middle, left, and then right. So, that was a super easy one. Was there any... I don't think there's any, like, hint or anything like that as to how to do that one. Oh! Oh, no. Uh, maybe there is. Because these things... This has symbols on them? No. I, why do you look... You suddenly, like, zoom in whenever you get up to that thing, which is weird. Alright, that one was super simple. That wasn't too difficult at all. I mean, there's only a couple scenarios that it could be. Because you only have to start with one, so... And usually you start with the middle one. This is one of the screenshots that I shot. Look, he even has bloom for the, like, the light coming through the trees and everything. This game is... It's very, very simple and basic, but it's still really well done. Especially for a school project. And the developer did it all himself. Again, the only thing he didn't do... Okay... Ah, uh, so that's the cube. It looks like the goddamn AllSpark from fucking the Transformers. Holy shit, that thing is huge. All right. Oh, yeah, I gotta, oh great, parkouring, my favorite, because I'm so good at it. Uh, well, actually, this parkouring is not bad. Uh, and then, huh, and then, huh, and then, huh. Maintain left shift to run and jump further. Awesome. Okay, so I'm guessing I gotta jump onto that. Nope, I missed. Oh, no, never mind. I actually just have to go down, I guess. Okay. Oh, okay, so that that air thing is gonna push me off if I do... If Okay. Uh, can I make the jump down here? No, I can't because I failed. At least he was nice enough to put, like, super quick checkpoints. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. And then, huh, uh, uh. uh. Oh, what? What did I die from? Aw, oh, crap. Come on. Don't do that to me, game. Huh? Uh. 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 Yeah, I made it. Cool. And this is going to take me up into the cube. All right. Jump further. Watch out for the blue fire, because the blue fire was actually restarting me. So I don't know if that was the exact way I was supposed to do it, but, I mean, I made it from that initial jump, so... Oh, Okay. You enter the cube. Tons of secrets await you. Another time. Thank you for playing. Press escape to return to the main menu. Oh, cool. So he's actually going to work on it more. Th see, okay. I definitely want to say this game is actually... Oh, can I jump up there? Oh, I can. Oh, can I... Oh, I can't get anywhere. Ah. God, this music is really cool. Okay. So, this was the cube. Now, this was a really quick game. It only took, what, like maybe five, six minutes to beat? The puzzles were actually really easy to do. And it wasn't like they were super annoying or anything like that. Like, you guys know that I'm not the best when it comes to puzzle games at all. Like, I'm actually kind of bad at them. But I still enjoy playing a good puzzle game. Especially games like this where they've got really cool music, good visuals and stuff like that. And it's fun to play. It's not, like, stressful or anything like that. The only thing... <clears throat> Sorry, the only thing I had to do that was kind of hard was just running back and forth and kind of bumping into walls. Other than that, this is actually a really cool game. Developer, seriously, good job. Especially for a simple school project. I don't know how long you actually had to work on this game. I don't believe you actually said. But this was actually really cool. Like I said, it has really good visuals and everything like that. And the music is very cool. Now, I understand the developer didn't actually do the visual or did do the music for the game itself but he chose music that was actually really cool and he chose music that was really well done and fit the area like this music right now now i don't mean to make it sound pretentious but it kind of sounds like a jungle theme style music which is perfect because you're in like this abandoned temple in the jungle scenario kind of like if you're uh exploring some old temples in like chile or something like that i think that's where they have some of them right i, I don't know exactly i've never visited any of them but just stuff like that is cool to me like i like it when you can kind of combine real world stuff with what we have now 
and I, I don't know, this was actually really cool. So developer, seriously, I hope you're actually going to continue working on this, or I hope you continue to make like the Cube 2 or something like that, because you literally have everything down. You just got to make a bigger game, I guess you could say, in the long run. I didn't have any problems with this game. The only thing that I saw that might be an issue is the fact that when I was walking, the Cube was bumping into me when I was in the temple. And kind of like running into me and making me slow down. Other than that, and the fact that the cube would go through the wall, there was literally nothing wrong with this game. I, I, there was no part where the jumps were ridiculous, the puzzles weren't too, too difficult. Honestly, this was really good. Not what I was expecting, especially from a quick project. But all in all, a really well game. A really well made game developer. I hope to see the cube too. I would honestly love to play it. Like... Hopefully, maybe you can do your own music in the next one. That would be really cool. Or maybe you could have a story, like you're an adventurer. Like, I don't want to say pull from Indiana Jones, but you could kind of go with something like that and uh, kind of give, even if it's literally just text that comes up on the screen and you have to read it, I'll gladly play a game like that. Like, oh, I need to get to this temple to get to the other side. You know, stuff like that. But you've got a premise. You have the basics down from what you want to do. Good job. I look forward to seeing what your next project is. So, with that, that's all the time I got for you today, guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out the annotations. They're going to spawn right here for more videos that I've done. And I'll see you guys next time. Maniacs out. Grab it. Ah, now I got some color. So, I got to go around and find all of these gold glowing things. Ah, there's another one right there. Which look like Japanese symbols.